Daddy, I love how you frame my artwork. Yeah? You want me to show them how I did it? Yeah! Awesome! In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way of you framing the kids' artwork or any other artwork from home without having to spend a lot of money at a framer. If our videos have value, please press like. And also, please punch that subscribe button and the little bell. Get notifications when our next video is about to come out. Stay tuned, we'll start right away. I am going to start with these two 11 by 14 frames for these eight and a half by 11 pieces. Pick up some construction paper. This 12 by 18 pack has 50 sheets and it's only $4.99 at Michael's. You will use it as your mat background. When picking the background mat, I usually go for black or white, especially if it's a very colorful artwork. But in this case, I am looking to bring out a color from the actual piece. Since there are two pieces in this series, I am contrasting the mats with purple and green, which are complementary colors. If you're interested, we have a whole video on color combinations that you can watch afterwards. Once you pick the matting color, open your frame and remove the placeholder. You're going to use it in order to draw out the size of the mat you need. These frames usually come with these flimsy mats. I just throw them out. Now take the placeholder and outline the size with a pencil on the construction paper. Then take your scissors and cut it to size. After cutting the construction paper, Put some tape on the back of the artwork and set it in the middle of your matting. Make sure you use enough tape to prevent the artwork from moving after it has been framed. Now you're ready to take the artwork and place it inside the frames. For the second artwork, I am going to use a smaller frame that already includes a mat. Since the artwork is colorful, a white mat doesn't compete much with your piece. Yet, the artwork is a bit smaller than the opening. What we're gonna do is pick a piece of construction paper to add some contrast and fill the gap. Yellow looks good, but I think orange is going to be just perfect. Open your frame and remove the mat. Now, draw the outline from the inside of the mat on your construction paper. Before you cut, you want to give yourself like half an inch all around to make sure it will cover the opening. Cut the piece around the outline. Take the piece of paper and tape it to the back of your mat. Then take the artwork and tape it to the construction paper. Finally, place the finished piece inside the frame and close it. Let us know in the comments below if you like how it looks. On our final demonstration, we're going with a 12 by 18 wood frame. For this artwork, I am picking a black background. This is a very simple piece, yet it has this vibrant orange color contrasted with a complementary blue. Perfect. Since the piece of construction paper is the exact size of the frame, we didn't need to cut it. 
I just taped the artwork right on the paper and placed it inside the frame. To hang frames, I like to use these picture hanging kits. They are sturdy and they cost around $9. When hanging more than one frame, I think of the process as a pieces of a puzzle. I try to combine larger pieces with smaller ones, horizontal frames with vertical ones. The wall is your canvas and your imagination will set your limits. Another happy client. Now let's do your own.